Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how to create apps, workflows, and agents using Microsoft 365 Copilot. All of this thanks to the new agents like App Builder Agent, Workflows Agent, and more. So let's check this video out in action. In Microsoft 365 Copilot, we have new agents as part of the Frontier program. App Builder Agent and the Workflows Agent. How do I get access to this program? In the M365 Admin Center, Copilot Settings, Copilot Frontier, you can sign up for this program, which gives you early access to all the new agents that light up in M365 Copilot. In my scenario, I have enabled it for a specific security group. I am a part of the security group, and thanks to that, I get access to the new Frontier agents. Let's explore App Builder. App Builder allows us to build interactive, no code apps in minutes to boost personal and team productivity. We can start by simply describing what kind of an app we want to build. I would like to build an app to track projects and milestones. Here we have the option to add content. We have access to the graph, so we can add content, files we've been working on, meetings, emails, and more. Beyond that, you can upload images, files to provide as reference to the app builder. Build an app to track projects and milestones. I'll click go. The app builder will start weaving its magic. Starts building out the React application. We can take a look at all the tasks that the app builder goes through. It plans the idea based on the input prompt that we provided. Builds out the React pages needed for the application. Start setting up the data schema, validations, and the final step, creating the list connections. List? Yes, the data for App Builder is stored in SharePoint lists. And for each application, a SharePoint site will be created to store the data for the application. Says I've created the app. If I click this, this will lead me to the SharePoint site that it has created for my application. And all the data is stored in the SharePoint lists. It creates one list per table that it has designed based upon the input that you've provided. I asked it to create an app to track projects and milestones. So here's my projects list. And here are my milestones. It has generated some sample data to begin with. This is a React application. I can test this app right here. If I click Add, this will add the project, and this data is being stored in my SharePoint list. To make changes to this application, all we have to do is prompt the App Builder agent. So I've asked it to change the colors of the app to light mode and use a blue color. The App Builder agent will start updating the React pages, and as it makes the updates, you can explore it live. We can keep prompting the agent to make updates as needed. For example, the status column was not showing the value correctly, so I asked it to fix the value, which it did. Then I asked it to list all the milestones related to a project when a user selects a project and also allow the user to add, update, delete milestones similar to Excel. So when I click view on a particular project, it opens the dialog for milestones, and now I can start adding milestones for this specific project. And I can do the same for any other project that I select. I also asked her to build me a chart to show the number of milestones per project. So you can see how easily we can build apps by simply prompting the app builder agent. This is perfect 
for personal productivity or team-based applications. For enterprise-based scenarios, we have the full Power Apps suite available that you can leverage. That's on make.powerapps.com. So I have my application built. I can update so the latest version is stamped. And then to share with users, the sharing experience is similar to how we share documents in OneDrive. Click share, pick your users or security groups that you want to share with. They only get the access to use the app. I'll click grant access. I'll copy the link. That's the link to the app. If I fire that link, it directly launches that application in M365 Copilot. Every app user will require the M365 Copilot license. When I share the app, how does the security of the data source, which in this case, SharePoint works. This SharePoint site is a team site, but it does not use the groups feature set. So it's a standard team site and the security is based upon the permissions of the SharePoint site, site owners and site members. The person who created the app will become the owner. And when you share the app with users, they become site members and that's how they get access to the underlying data. If you need to add some automations to this, you cannot directly do that in the app builder experience, but you could leverage Power Automate that can trigger based on events that take place in those SharePoint lists. Let's get back to M365 Copilot, head over to App Builder. Here is the list of all the applications that I have created. I can click edit and continue editing the app by prompting the app builder agent. I can play the app, share the app with users or delete the application if needed. As an admin, if you would like to control who has access to the app builder agent, in M365 admin center, under copilot and agents, search for app builder. Here's the app builder frontier agent. You can head over to users and decide who in my org should be getting access to install and use this application. If you want visibility into apps built by the app builder, in the Power Platform Admin Center within the new inventory reporting, we will see those apps being listed here. Here are a few apps that I had created by using the app builder agent. Next, let's look at the new workflows agent. Here we can describe workflows that we would like to build. Let's take a scenario. In my SharePoint site, I have an incident log list. This list tracks any incidents that are reported. We have an incident status. Let's say I need an automation that runs daily that sends me a report of all the incidents that are in progress. And for that, I'll use the workflow agent. I'll describe my needs in natural language. I need a daily report of in progress items from my SharePoint list. I'll say go. And now the workflows agent will start weaving its magic. It will start setting up the trigger for my automation. The trigger is a schedule that runs every day. The agent is asking me follow up questions. It needs the name or URL of my SharePoint site, my SharePoint list. I'll simply copy my SharePoint list URL and paste it right here. The agent takes my input. It needs a couple of confirmations. I'll say the column name is status and the exact value is in progress. Now the agent sets up my SharePoint action. Now it says if you would like to take further actions like sending an email or posting this to Teams or exporting it to Excel, please let me know. In my case, I'll say send me an email. Now the workflow agent will add the email step as part of the workflow process. Done. My workflow is ready. I'll go ahead and save. This workflow is called daily in progress SharePoint report. 
where is this workflow being saved? Well, this flow will be saved either in the default environment of the Power Platform or if the admin has configured environment routing to personal developer environments, which is the case in my scenario, in that case, the workflow will be created in the user's developer environment. Now let's test this. I'll test this manually and I'll run the workflow. The testing process has started. The flow triggered. Now it's querying my SharePoint list. The list in my IT site It's trying to get the items. It's applying a filter query. Done. Moves to the final step where it is going to be sending me an email. And here is the email. Daily in progress incident log report includes all the incidents that are in progress. All of this data is coming from my SharePoint list. It also includes a link. If I select it, it will directly take me to that item in SharePoint. Very cool. I was able to build this automation by simply prompting the agent. Just like I built an app by simply prompting the app builder agent. Where is this workflow? As I mentioned, in my case, because I have environment routing enabled, this will route to my personal dev environment. My personal dev environment is called RD training. In this environment, if I explore the workflows, here is the workflow that I just created. And last but not the least, if we go to create agent, now this leads us to Copilot Studio Lite. I can simply describe what I would like this agent to do. Let's say I would like to build an agent that can answer Power Platform licensing questions. And for that, I'll go ahead and download the licensing guide. My description. You are an agent that can help answer Power Platform licensing questions. Now let's choose a name for this agent. Let's give it this name, Power Platform Licensing Assistant. If you notice, it also gives a few starter prompts to begin with. I can keep prompting and updating my agent here in the describe area, or I can straight out go and configure it as well. Give a description, define the instructions for your agent, knowledge. Here, I'll go and upload the licensing guide. This will be the knowledge that the agent would be grounded on. Apart from this, thanks to the Microsoft Graph, I can connect files from SharePoint or OneDrive. I can connect SharePoint sites or pages to bring knowledge from there, or chats from Teams. You have the full power to bring all that knowledge to this agent. My agent's ready. Let's test it out. I'll ask a question. What's the Power Apps Premium license for? The agent leverages the knowledge that it's been grounded on and starts providing the information. Click Create. And just like that, I was able to create an agent within minutes that I can share with users in my organization. All of these capabilities, Copilot Studio Lite, App Builder, and the Workflows Agent are a part of M365 Copilot. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.